underway. Maddie Bug is very successful at the service line. Not this time, Slay gets it down for Penn State. Nice connection right there with Micah Hancock and Katie Slay. She started off doing some things in that first set, then she kind of quieted down, so they've got to get her going again. Micah Hancock back to serve now for Penn State. The overpass and Deja McClendon, that's the second time we've seen that from her here today. Give Stanford the first point here in set number two. Great serve received by Kyle Gilbert, the libero for Stanford. Set that play up, and there's nothing better than getting out of the Micah Hancock ro serve rotation. The push by Scott. Burgess dug up by Hancock. Deja McClendon the tip. Williams was there. Wopat tried to do a little bit of the same, but was just outsized by Slade. Well, she really didn't have much of an option but to try to tip the ball. It was a little set a little too low. Katie Slade was right there on top of that. Six foot two and Wopat going up against six six and Katie Slade. Back set to Wopat. Point for Stanford. It's a great hustle by Deja McClendon. She was trying to get her hands on that ball. Good serve by Gilbert. They're going to call the error. That was really close right here on the over. But I think there's a good call. Violation there against. Yeah. Penn State, point for the Cardinals. Sending that one down with authority, Ariel Scott, my goodness. She is just so good out of that right side. And this is where you, Micah Hancock has great confidence in feeding her the ball right there. Got right through the block for the kill. Williams up and over, Megan Courtney for the point. Williams had the 12 digs versus Minnesota, seven kills at 208 in the match. It's over a thousand kills in her career, 10 double doubles this season. A little bit of ball control problems for Penn State. Not giving Micah Hancock enough to work with to get that ball to her, her hitters right now. And the miss hit off the set there by Hancock. It's a little bit of Penn State, a little rattle right now. Got to settle back down, get back into the system. Williams goes up, goes wide. Well, that couldn't have come at a better time for Penn State. What's at stake? A spot in the national semifinals. The winner here today will play the winner of Washington USC. That one late tonight. The nightcap out in Los Angeles. Gonzalez, great effort there. Deja McClendon. Try to deliver. Well, she's a back row player, and her foot was on that 10-foot line, and you can't do that when you're coming out of the back row. you got to stay behind that line. Hancock to Courtney, and Courtney down the line. Megan Courtney does a great job turning her shoulders, 
going down the line, around that block, and into the right back corner. She had a really nice performance versus Michigan State. A double-double, 10 kills, 14 digs, three assists, two solo blocks. That coming from the Big Ten Freshman of the Year a year ago. Howard Fuller, full extension. Burgess with a dig. Back set to Ajana Kuhn. Deja McClendon was there. Off the block, out of bounds, point for Stanford. Well, great job by Maddie Bug delivering the ball to Ajana Kuhn on that slide on the right side. You would have thought she'd go to her left front hitter. So now you have Ajana Kuhn going off a one-on-one -on -one block opportunity, and she's going to win that the majority of the time. Mary Ellen Luck with a service for Stanford. Deja McClendon through the block, picks up the kill. It's her sixth here, hitting 235, two errors on the day so far. You know, Deja McClendon probably has a, several fans in the stands being right down the road from in Louisville, Kentucky, where she hails from. That's right, her sister. Maya is also an outside hitter over at Louisville. We've got a couple of her matches this season. Ropat. Third kill for her today. Maddie Bell with a service error side out Penn State. Both of these teams coming out a little off kilter here in the second set. Well, the, it's just the miss serves are just something I'm going to have to just quit talking about because it happens in the match. But they're just such momentum killers. Hancock will try to change that for her team. And a good serve by her, Williams. Great pancake by Gonzalez. Gonzalez is really playing some excellent defense for Penn State. Didn't quite get to this shot right here, but a beautiful shot by Rachel Williams. Well, not, excuse me, she did get the pancake on that, but couldn't get her teammates close enough to the ball for the second hit. Stanford, back to serve, and another service error for the Cardinal, who had no service errors in the first set. Kendall Pierce coming in to serve. Deja McClendon will come out. Pierce, a sophomore from New York. Burgess got it down. Pierce just couldn't get there in time. She is a terminating hitter. Just a powerful, heavy arm swing that can really unload on a, on a nice set to the outside. 11 and nine, Cardinal with the lead here. Into the block goes Ariel Scott, out of bounds though, point for the Nittany Lions. Well, that's your bread and butter right now up at the net, and it's Ariel Scott, she's 6'4", senior. She's been in this situation many times before. And the set was really off there for Maddie Bob. Penn State will pick up the point because of it. Now she had to go up with one hand trying to save the ball. All goes back to that ball control. Burgess. Got it down. Burgess coming alive here in this second set. She's got four kills hitting 375. Blue does a nice job of really cranking on this with a hard angle just above the 10 foot line on that kill. Scott over the block. The dig by Williams. And they're going to call the net violation. So back in from Penn State comes Lacey Fuller to the service line. Got a loose ball here on the court. 
Felt like I was at a tennis match right there. <laughs> Not it up at 12 here in the second set after Stanford took the opening frame, 25-22. Burgess over the block, got it down. Really nice job of using the fingertips of the Penn State block right there to put it out of reach of Penn State. Jordan Burgess, just a sophomore, and there's four sophomores on this team that were starting as freshmen a year ago. She happens to be one of them. Future very bright for Stanford. The side out, Penn State with a point. Trading points once again. Well, we knew this match was gonna be back and forth. These are just two great teams that have pretty much every aspect of the, of the game at a high level. Bunks sets up Howard. The overpass by Lacey Fuller, point for the Cardinal. Lacey Fuller just looked at her teammates, gave them all fives and shook it off. She is an unsung hero for this team. According to her coaches, plays to just a different level than anybody else. High energy, and we've seen that so far here today. The tip of the push there by Scott. Howard dug up by Courtney. The set to McClendon, got it. Well, she got up so high on this ball and got right through the middle of the block before Wopak could close it. But her reach is phenomenal. She gets up on top of the ball and can just nail it. Six ties in this set, 19 for the match. Knotted up at 14 here in set two. Low pad. Tried to get it over. Grant was there. Burgess tried to deliver again. Courtney. Penn State keeps it alive. Howard. Fuller and full extension. McClendon pushes it over. Williams there. Howard will try again into the block. There's Deja McClendon. McClendon high. Penn State with the point. Are you kidding me? Did you see the save by Penn State? Unbelievable volleyball going on right here in Lexington. Penn State's up one over Stanford. Penn State up by one in the second set. And my goodness, let's go back and take a look at that last point and everything that led up to it. Well, I told you to put your seatbelt on because we're in for a heck of a ride. And just watch the save right here by Micah Hancock. Goes on the other side of the court to save the ball. The rally continues on. It's kill for kill, dig for dig. And Deja McClendon is going to come back here. Right now, I'm going to set up for the kill to finish the playoff. I mean, Melissa, volleyball doesn't get much better than this. The rallies are phenomenal today. Well, this is the first Penn State lead since they were up 4-3 to start this set. And they have come alive here in set number two. Some great play by both teams. Howard, and the block was there. Slay and McClendon have been doing that for a long time. Well, right now, you can just feel that momentum swing coming Penn State's way after that last rally before the timeout. It was just, they really got their juices flowing right now. And those were two seniors, two, two seniors right there who were freshmen the last time Penn State won the national championship. They're hungry for another. Deja McClendon over the block point for the Nittany Lions. Well, McClendon doing a great job of hitting high off the fingertips of the Stanford block, so they're not able to keep it inbounds. Stanford wants to talk about it. John Dunning with a timeout. Penn State on a 4-0 run. Penn State on a 4-0 run here in the second set. They leave it 17-14. And we talked about this being a championship caliber match. Well, these two teams have gone head-to-head -head in championship matches, and it all got started in the 1997 final. Stanford come out on top.
over the Nittany Lions, won their second straight title and fourth in six years. Kristen Folkel recorded the final three kills for the 15-9 win. They finished the year 33 and two. Unfortunately, this one not a national championship match, but boy, does it feel like it. Well, it does. It's this national championship caliber volleyball. Low pat. Grant was there. Deja McClendon dug up by Gilbert. Howard, four there. The overpass. Howard will try again. Grant with the dig. Deja McClendon goes high. Dug up by Gilbert. Hancock tried to get it over on two. She'll try it again. And the violation. Net violation will be called against the Nittany Lions. They were playing very close to the net on that one. Well, it was, and it was a um, really close call right here. Her hand just followed through right into it. Slay, dug up by Burgess. The tip by Howard. Slay terminates. It's a great connection right there between Micah Hancock and Katie Slay. That's what you've got to have out of 6-6 in the middle of the floor. She's using her as much as she can in this set. Three kills, Slay hitting 400, has five blocks to lead everybody here so far today. Williams, good control there by Gonzalez. Deja McClendon, and McClendon, Goes long. They no, called they're they gonna call a tip on that. They changed it looking at the up referees. So 1915 Penn State trying to run away with this one. And my goodness, they have certainly come alive here in this second set. So Maryland, we're talking soccer now, takes on Notre Dame in the championship of the NCAA Men's College Cup presented by Northwestern Mutual tomorrow at 3 Eastern on ESPNU, also live on Watch ESPN. That will be played at PPL Park. And of course, UCLA won the women's soccer championship last weekend, defeated FSU. The men's side should be just as good. But speaking of good, does it get any better than this here in Lexington? Well, I'm not sure it does. This is some phenomenal volleyball, and Deja McClendon is probably playing some of the best volleyball of her career. She's just making all kinds of shots today, whether they're kills, tips off the block, little tip shots right there, over hits on overpasses. Just absolutely feeling it, but this is what you get from a senior. You're talking about a senior-laden Penn State team that wants to get back to the national championship match and have a chance to win it. This, these seniors won it as freshmen, and Deja McClendon was actually the most outstanding player as a freshman on that national championship team. All right now, she's leading everybody with 10 kills, hitting 333, has the block, as you mentioned, but you said Slay, Deja McClendon, Ariel Scott, the three seniors who were role players. Deja McClendon, as you said, most outstanding player on that championship team, and they know what it's like. Well, when you taste that national championship, you definitely want another one and another one. Service error by Hancock. She had five versus Minnesota. Characteristic with her. And the service who talked to the coaches, they let her go. Other players feel a little more technical on the service, but they let her just go for it. The tip at the net by Slay. Williams over the block, picked up by Hancock. Will serve up Scott, and Scott gets the kill. Well, Scott's just delivering all across the net. It doesn't matter, left front, right front. Just give me the ball. Give the senior the ball. She knows what to do with it. You said this is all about momentum shifts. Penn State with the momentum now up four. Utilizing their strengths. The block happens to be one of them. Well, there's no question when you get Ariel Scott, Katie Slay, Megan Courtney, that's a big front line right there. 
21-16 Penn State. Penn State out of system. Slay had the set. The push. Low pass. Dug up by McClendon. Burgess into that block. Williams and Williams goes long. No, they're going to say it was in off the tip. Nice play by Rachel Williams. Stanford really needed, they needed that point right there. That's a smart play from the senior right side hitter going off the fingertips of the Penn State block. Slay. Inky Ajanaku was there. She was there. Good read. She kept her eyes loaded on Katie Slay right there. Knew what was going, but the way she presses in, it, it really is. It's a, it's a beautiful thing to watch how she, how she gets over the net and presses in. Another part of that sophomore class, and we've got an ace for the Cardinal. Well, this is a great little rally by Stanford because. Once a team gets into those 20s, it's hard to rally back. Good timeout by Russ Rose to try to gather his troops. Penn State had the momentum, and now it feels like it's starting to shift a little bit towards Stanford. We're coming up at intermission with Matt Schick and Kelly Tennant. Talking men's basketball, number one Arizona down to the wire versus Michigan. And to football, Matt Brown taking a stand on his job with the Texas Longhorns. Then Nick Saban, of course, into new deal with the Alabama Crimson Tide. Plus, we'll have highlights, stats, analysis of the first two sets here in this Lexington regional finale. And there's going to be a little too many highlights, I think, to package into that short amount of time we've got. Well, I agree with that. <laughs> Season recap here for the Nittany Lions, 31-2. Overall, 19 and one in the Big Ten. That one loss coming at the hands of Michigan State. Russ Rose, the Big Ten Coach of the Year. Micah Hancock, Big Ten Setter of the Year, as we mentioned on the onset. That was the 14th time that Russ Rose has won the Big Ten Coach of the Year honor. Well, Melissa, Russ Rose has 1,122 wins in his career. He is second in line next to Dave Shoji from, from Hawaii as the all-time winningest volleyball coach. 1,122, that is a heck of a lot of volleyball games, a lot of volleyball practices, <laughs> a lot of miles flown, bus driven, a lot of years in this profession and has done a phenomenal job. Hall of Famer, five national championships, hoping this team can carry him to a sixth here this season. Scott goes long. So Stanford keeps the momentum with them after the timeout. Really a rare miss by Errol Scott right there, especially in a situation where Penn State needed to get out of this service rotation. It's a 4-0 Stanford run here. Scott, the block, a Jonaku there. Scott will try again, the tip. Ajanaku there again. Burgess got it down this time. Really nice play, nice persistence by Ariel Scott, but also Micah Hancock to keep going back to, to Ariel. She knows again where her bread's buttered, and that's with Ariel Scott on the right side. The 10th finalist for the Senior Class Award, excellence on and off the court so far, showing some excellence on the court here today. Seven kills for the senior. Williams, down the line. And they're making the argument that it touched the official. Let's go ahead and take a look at this now. Boy, this is a tough call right here. Let's see. Well, it was out of bounds, but the, the up umpire called a touch on Penn State. Side out, Penn State. Nice strong hit by Errol Scott to go off the block. Add a read to the Stanford defender. Scott goes out, Fuller will come in to serve. Every point matters between these two teams. Burgess got 
a down side out for the Cardinal. Beautifully hit ball by Jordan Burgess. She knew she wanted to go off the block right there. She did just that. No way Penn State could have dug that ball. Got it down, and it is set point here for Penn State, trying to make it even at one apiece. Just a beautifully hit ball by Megan Courtney. She doesn't look like she weighs 100 pounds, but she can get up there and really unload on a ball. Sarami so, in that first set, very good at the service line for the Nittany Lions. Let's try her again here on set point. Ajanaku McClendon there. Swinging out to Howard. McClendon goes high into that block. We'll try again. Howard. She goes over the block. McClendon got it down, and we are tied up at one apiece here in Lexington. Well, I think one of the best things we're seeing is Micah Hancock knowing to go to her senior hitter.